Hi. In the next few lectures, we'll take a slight detour from the standard probability and statistic course to focus more on tools used to ana analyze algorithms. Uh, in this uh, segment, we'll talk a lot about uh, expectations. Okay, so let's consider a typical scenario in uh, computer science. Uh, you are building a server and you need to handle a lot of loads. Okay, so a typical way is to have a lot of uh, working servers here. So this sometimes refer to workers. Okay, so you have you have a lot of workers and and jobs coming in here to the front end. Okay, jobs. Okay, and the front end somehow distribute these jobs into the workers so that they can work on the jobs and output the uh, the results okay and uh, when the front end receive a new request it has to figure out which server to forward the request to okay so there are many ways to do that one is that uh, the front end ha uh, figure out uh, the server with the smallest load okay so in order to do that when some job come in the front end has to somehow know the status of all the servers Okay, or maybe it has to ask uh, the, the server, like, uh, what is your load? And then uh, uh, use that information to uh, uh, forward uh, the, the job to the, the smallest guy. So if this guy say, yeah, I have the smallest load, uh, the, the front end then forward the job to it. Okay, and if you have a lot of server, uh, maintaining this uh, minimum loaded guy will be uh, another problem that you have to solve. Okay. Another way is to uh, ignore the load altogether, and then uh, when the front end get the job, uh, it picks the the worker at random and and say, oh, okay, this guy is the lucky one, so I'll, I'll forward the the job to this guy. And that's another if the another job come in. Uh, it picks another random guy and then uh, forward the job to it. Okay, maybe maybe this uh, this random guy might already have a lot of load. Uh, but then if 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 this uh, worker is unlucky, it will get another piece of load, uh, another job to work on. Okay, so we would like to analyze uh, this 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 protocol. This approach is pretty easy to implement. And there's no synchronization between the front end and the workers. Okay, so um, the question is, uh, yeah, f forward the job to the one with the smallest load is usually give you the best, uh, you know, probably give you the best results. However, uh, this one, um, can we say something about it? Is it any good? Okay, so it's the it's it's the question of 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 the of the, our interests. Okay, so we will model this as the balls and bins experiment. Okay, so uh, we have n bins. Okay, these n bins are like the workers. Okay, and we ha we have n balls. These balls are like jobs. Okay, so they model jobs, and we our experiment is that we throw these n balls into n bins independently at random. Okay, so each ball falls into any bin with uniform probabilities. Uh, you you can uh, see that this is the roughly the same model as the server and the workers discussed before. Okay, so it usually goes like this. Okay, the first ball, second ball, third ball, fourth ball, fifth, uh, sixth ball, and the seventh ball. Okay. So these are the experiment. You might wonder why we choose n, but um, we want to know the balance between the amount, the number of server that you need, and and the number of job. And and the typical balance is that uh, to have the server as as many server as the the jobs that you have to do, right? Okay. So with this model, we can ask many questions. Like in the end, clearly from the previous uh, example. Uh, there might be some bins with more than one balls. 
because we have n balls and n bins, we might want to ask uh, how many empty bins. So these are in the server case is the server which is which are idle. Okay. And another question that we might ask is what's the highest load? Okay. So so some server might get uh, more jobs than the other. So in the worst case, uh, so the the unluckiest guy. So how how many how many how much how many loads how many jobs it has to process? Okay. And if we change the model a little bit, allow allowing us to uh, throw m balls, we might wanna ask a question related to this number of balls. For example, we we want we might wanna we we might wanna ask then how many how many balls that we need to throw so that uh, every bin contains some ball. So the ball hits every bin. So it's like you have a few bins and you, you throw the balls in it. It might it miss something, right? So, but at this point, everyone gets a ball. So, uh, so that's this is the number of balls that you want to analyze. Or maybe you have some bins, and you keep throwing some balls into it, right? And may maybe at some point, uh, if you throw so few balls, you might end up that uh, no balls hit the same bin, right? No two pairs of balls hit the same bin. But at some point, you see, you get this uh, uh, that two these two balls hit the same bin. So we wanna figure out how many balls that this occur. Okay. So this is the case when you you learn about hashing later on in data structure course. And this is like that situation when you have uh, key collisions, hash hash key collisions. Okay. So th there are many questions that we can ask about this uh, balls and bin experiment. And in this segment, uh, we will focus mostly on these empty bins. Okay, so we want to analyze the empty bins using uh, the tools that we use to analyze the random variables. So formally, we let random variable x to be the number of empty bins. Okay, and we want to find expectation of x. 